Hey YouTube. Well, we're going to be working on the Black Craftsman today. Off camera one day, I did spray paint this, and it sure spruced it up. It's looking pretty good. But today, we're going to replace the starter rope. It's got one bad area, and ropes are cheap. And I'm just going to replace it. That way it's not going to be an issue for the future owner. I'll show you where the rope is kind of bad. Right there. That little spot right there. I tried to singe it with a lighter and I'm just not satisfied. So we're going to replace this rope. And here's what we're going to need for today's project. A lawnmower, tools, we need our socket wrench, and we're going to need both a flathead and the Phillips screwdrivers. I'm going to need a new rope. I'm going to try to reuse the old handle, not this one. And a cup of coffee. So, without any further ado, let's take off. All the covers. Need your Phillips screwdriver. Now we have we have the gas tank. We have to. You can either take out the three bolts in the top and rotate the tank back. I'm probably just going to take all three bolts and the one on the side out. That way it's completely out of my way. on top are out. They are five sixteenths. One on the side is three eighths. Now let's get this recoil off. Two bolts in front, two bolts in back, three eighths. Here's the two bolts in the back. There's also one bolt holding on the dipstick. It's a 5 16 We'll get that out. And since I'm going to try to reuse this blue handle, let's disconnect it from the handlebar. It takes a 7 16 ratchet. And it should come off. If it puts up a fight, get a flathead screwdriver and kind of move this piece in the front forward. And there we go. So here's the recoil. 
I'm going to flip it over and show you how to change the pull rope. Before I do, I'm going to look underneath it here. Looks like there's a spider nest right there. I'll get that out. My main concern is the teeth that come out when you pull the rope. There you can see the teeth come out. That's good. So this, this cover should still be fine. Just needs a new rope. And the spider nest is gone. So on to the rope. To remove the rope, first you have to pull all the string out. I'm trying to hold it with my foot. Take a flathead screwdriver and stick it in there. And that will keep it from retracting back. Down here is the old rope. I'm trying to grab it without any pliers. Oh, look at that. It wasn't very good right there either. See that? It's a good thing we're replacing it. We will cut this and feed the new rope in. Rope is cut. Pull out the old rope. Here is our new rope. We'll see how easily or not easily I can get this in. Sometimes it can put up a fight. The new rope is fed back in. What I had to do, I had to get my pliers and kind of, there's like glue or maybe it's melted on the end. I had to kind of pinch the end narrower to get it to go through. Now let's tie a knot in the end. And I like to do two knots. Just to make sure it's not going to come out. Now I'm holding the string and I'm removing the screwdriver. And we will slowly let it pull the string back in. Now let's get the blue handle off of the old rope. So we got the rope out. Rope is cut. Now let's transfer this to our new rope. So I pulled a little bit of our new rope out of the recoil. And just like I had to on the other end to get it in the back in the recoil, I need to kind of pinch the end. Try to make it a little narrower. There we go. New rope is fed in. Let's tie some knots. And here again, 
I'm going to do two knots. One. back in the starter handle. So now that the handle's back on, remove the screwdriver, and we'll feed the rope all the way back in. And there we go. Let's put it back on the mower. And now let's reinstall the recoil. Be careful. Uh, get this little flange down here on correctly. There's three teeth. The middle tooth goes on the outside of the recoil. The teeth on the outer edges, they go on the inside of the recoil. And word to the wise, when you work with a socket wrench, take off your watch. I have hit it with the handle of my ratchet before and cracked the lens. If you want to ruin your otherwise good day, that's one good way to do it. the oil dipstick and it takes a 5 16th now to get the tank back on need to feed the new rope through the circle here and we'll get this tank bolted back down Don't forget about the bolt underneath, 3 eighths. Okay. Put the cover back on, feed the handle through. Last little beauty cover. And about the last thing, we'll put the little hook for the rope for the handlebar. Put that back on.
There we go. There is the craftsman with the new rope back in. Shall we go to start? Sure, why not? Okay, let's test the new rope. Just show you the engine is cold. Normally I go mow with it afterwards, but you've already seen this guy mow grass. And on top of that, we got like two and a half inches of rain last night, so this thing's all nice and clean, and I don't want to get wet grass caked up all over, on top, underneath, what have you. So that's how you change the rope. It's pretty easy. Here's what's left of the old rope. I'll keep that for something, not for lawnmowers. But the new rope, just so you know, it cost about five bucks. You can actually buy a whole spool of rope. I don't really do that. I just go to the big box hardware store and get a new rope for about five bucks and then I have a almost new lawnmower. So if your rope ever frays, try to replace it. Thanks for watching.